What's up guys, today we're doing a tutorial on this Epic Gaming 3x3 door, which is a slightly small build, but I can assure you it's actually pretty epic. Uh, this opens in 0.6 seconds and closes in 0.45 seconds and is fully synced and 128 blocks and also is not input bugged like half of these uh, door types are, so that's a plus. Fully reliable, you already know it. This door is pretty epic. Uh, so pretty, pretty good, uh, door to build and survival. So I will show you exactly how to do that. So you're gonna need an eight by eight by two area. Uh, and the door is like offset one to the right from where the lever is. Also the, the lever is down when the door is open. So the door frame in the middle is going to be one block offset. <laughs> the door is going to be offset one block to the right. So your frame is right here. Oh, there, there's our door. It's, it's pretty much done now. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so one piston on the bottom, storage piston on the right side, on like the shorter side of the door, and then three side pistons on each side. I don't have the sticky pistons texture on, but these are all sticky pistons, and the double extender on top. Uh, then you might as well just fill in the frame because it's easier to do it like this. Okay, so your input is going to be right here on like the bigger side of the door, not on the storage piston side. Put a lever, flick it. Then you're gonna run uh, dust across the slab. That piston's gonna fire, but that's fine. Up onto a slab into this piston. Sticky piston right here. Uh, grab a log. Uh, log right here. Uh, block that redstone. Place a note block here and a leaf here. You might be thinking, well, gee, that. <laughs> I'd be thinking, well, gee, um, this note block doesn't have anything above it. Gee, you, you're kind of a bad redstoner. Uh, and to that I respond, no, this note block is only detecting the change in uh, the block underneath it, and that's why it gives an observer output. So it gives an output, this observer gives an output after one tick after the lever is flicked, which is pretty cool. And this leaf gives an odd game tick, and then this is going to do the sides. So sides, we need a target block right here, and that'll do the side for us at the right timing. And because every, <laughs> and because, uh, this door opens in 0.6 seconds. Uh, the last pulse has to turn off in an odd game tick, so we have to have all the sides controlled by leaves in this uh, tiny space, which is not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, if I would stop getting fishing rod, that would be absolutely lovely. Okay, so now a repeater up from this block into a dust here. And then the way we're gonna get the zero tick to this thing right here is we're gonna have a block here, sticky piston right here with a redstone block on it, and then an updater right here. And what this is gonna do is uh, this right here combined with this is going to give a three game tick pulse that turns off at 0.45 with extra block event provided by this. So then this piston will turn off at 0.45 with a zero tick. So now we can see that actually happening. You see everything should be synced right here. And uh, I can just delete that water. Okay, so now for the bottom. Uh, dust underneath here, run that down onto a slab. Uh, sticky piston here, normal pistons right here and here. Log on that sticky piston. Observer from that piston head into this block. Grab a hopper, which I don't have. Right here. And then run that into another block right here. And then a paste block right here so it powers this piston. We need another piston uh, underneath this one, up off this block. And then uh, running into this piston right here. And then for the opening, we have an, uh, a leaf right here, two observers into a block. This doesn't affect the closing whatsoever since this piston is going to be blocking this pulse. So we can see this happening now. That should work. And then for the last side piston, uh, one observer right here. And then for the last, or sorry, for the last two side pistons, we're going to need a uh, log and leaf again. Same thing leaf there, uh, observer up into a block, into a normal piston facing down. Uh, just don't update this piston at the wrong time. It's really hard to do that. So like it will probably never happen. Uh, and then observer there. So that's your entire door. You can see it closes, opens, uh, and you can just run a repeater into it because it's not input bugged and it looks the same always. All right, that's about it. See ya.